Hey guys, welcome to my Windows 7 tutorial. Today I'm showing you how to install customized Windows 7 themes. If you're back into the Windows XP times and like you're really big into theming and everything, um, you know it was very simple. Just a quick run of a program to batch some files, drag a file into a folder, and apply the theme. Simple as that. But for Windows 7, it's a little bit different. Um, it requires some backing up of files, make sure you don't screw everything up, make sure you have the right system type for each uh, theme. But um, my method of installing themes is a little bit more easier and can save a lot of headaches. Um, the first what you want to do is to um, make sure what uh, system type your OS is, either a 32-bit or 64-bit. To figure this out, go to Start, right-click the computer on the right-hand side of the Start menu, and go to Properties. And as you see here under the system uh, section, right next to system type is my operating system uh, system type. So in this case, I'm 64-bit. So once you find that out and you take note of it, um, we can move on with the rest of the tutorial. Uh, so down in the description will be four links, each leading you to different websites for programs that you need to install these themes. So the first of the links would be 7-zip. This is required... Uh, to extract the raw slash zip files. So in my case I'm a 64 bit so I would click the 64 bit uh, version of the installer and if you're 32 bit click the .exe uh, version of the installer. So once you have that downloaded and installed I would recommend logging off or restarting your computer and coming back to this video to finish the video. So now the next link you want to uh, visit is the one labeled Universal Theme Patcher and next to that will be a link to this webpage. Um, this will patch uh, three core system files that you would need to change in order to install these themes. So it will bring you to windows7download.com and right below the information here uh, will be download universal theme patcher 1.5. Click that and then it will bring you to another page to where it will automatically download it for you. Um, next what you want to download and install is the theme manager program. This is where you will be uh, locating different files within the theme pack to install. Um, as you see, uh, you can have multiple themes here. It will keep track of all the files as long as you have a folder dedicated to themes. That's what I do. I have a folder in my uh, documents folder labeled themes. Um, keeps everything organized. And So once you're on this page, go here and under the add to favorites and under the picture will be a download file link. Click that. It will download the um, zip file. Um, next, what you want to get prepared is the theme pack. So the one next to themes down the description will be another link to Debian Art. You can find other links like customize.org and when customize. Um, but I like Debian Art better because I think it's more organized in my opinion. Um, so just look for the theme you want and when you find the one you want and you're all set, uh, we can move on. So here I got the universal theme patcher, the theme manager, and the theme I want. Uh, I forgot to mention this one thing. Uh, make sure the theme you have is supported on your system. So let's just say for this one. Make sure someone in the description. Uh, make sure it's been tested and working on both versions of the Windows uh, 7, 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, or make sure your system is compatible with the theme because sometimes it can cause a lot of uh, problems with you. Alright, so once you have all your files downloaded, right click the universal theme patcher that zip, go to 7-zip and click extract to universal theme patcher. Let it do its thing and it'll create a new folder, double click it. Um, here will be two in, uh, program files here, one for 32-bit and another one for 64-bit. The x86 is for 32-bit and the x64 is for 64-bit systems. So uh, remember when I said to keep note of what system type you have? This is where this comes in. So in my case, I'm a 64-bit, so you want to right-click the 64-bit um, program file and click Run as Administrator. And click Yes on the uh, prompt. So once you get the dialog box, that will ask you to choose your interface language. Uh, in my case, I'm English. So select English and click OK. Another window will pop up saying that you have three files need to patch in your case um, if you came to this video uh, just click yes for detail and now you'll have three different DLLs that will be needed to be patched so here next to each of the DLL uh, informations uh, you want to click patch on each one of these and it will ask you to restart your computer 
restart your computer to, to make the changes uh, take effect and come back to the video and we'll continue. So once you have your uh, files all patched up and all good, uh, right click the theme manager zip, go to 7zip and go to extract to. You will then want to install it and it will uh, the icon will look like this when it's done. You want to right click it and click run as administrator. Click yeah. yes. So once uh, this little donate box comes up, you can either uh, submit your payment for uh, when you donate, or you simply click no thanks. So once you click no thanks or you donate it, uh, this one will pop up. Uh, this is when you want to extract your theme. So go to where you uh, downloaded your theme, go to 7-zip and click extract to. Okay, so open the folder, uh, theme folder up, and as you see here, there's different things. You may want to read the readme for, for special instructions, but in my case, I pretty much know what I'm doing, so, um, yeah. So here, uh, in back to the theme manager window, you'll see that it wants us to select some files here. So, as you see here, uh, you can select the theme file, your explorer.exe, uh, ob folder, that DLL, explorer that fr explorer frame the DLL, shell32 DLL, and time date and logon. Um, in my case, all I, all I want to do is select the theme in the Explorer frame since this is what the uh, theme pack contains. Uh, some themes may have the Explorer .exe. Uh Just make sure you have the right system type because as in my case for the Explorer, uh, Explorer frame, um, I have uh, two system types, 32-bit and 64-bit. Make sure you have the right system type or some problems could occur. Um, so when you find the theme files, click the little tick mark here and click browse. So under the theme, I want to look for the dot theme file for the uh, theme I want because in this pack there's multiple themes. So I want the dot theme files. So just browse to where I have the theme installed. Okay, so I want to install cold light. So I would. Uh, Select the dot cold light dot theme file. Uh, the left in the top uh, parts of the f file name just indicates where the um, taskbar will be. So if it's on top, on the left, or the right. So in my case, mine's on the bottom. So I'm just going to click the first one on the bottom. And here I have the explorer frame. So go here to explorer frame. Take this on. Go to browse and look for the explorer frame file. Now I'm gonna to go to Code Light, go to 64-bit in my case, and then click Explorer.dll. Um, so this looks like uh, everything's all good. So now just click Install Theme, give it a name, click OK, and on the right just select it and click Apply Theme, and the theme will be applied, and you should be good. So thanks for watching this video. Um, I know it was a pretty long one, pretty in depth, kind of. I can almost guarantee some people have some problems, so if you want some help, uh, just please PM me or leave it in the form of a comment. Um, once again, I'm not responsible for anything that may happen because you are playing around with some core system files, and uh, in no way am I responsible for be someone being stupid and playing around with it and not knowing what they're doing. Um, so... So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Like I said, if you need any help, please contact me. Please stay tuned for the next video, which will be on Rainmeter. So, see you later, guys.